<laughs> hey guys, what's up? I'm Lakshmi and I am here with Explore Kashmir. Hi, I'm Bilal Ahmed Khan. I'm Yunus. <laughs> These two had invited me to a place called Gulmarg. Before coming to Kashmir, I had never heard of it, but I decided to join them on the road trip. They told me I didn't need to do anything except bring my equipment. So I did. It was a one and a half hour journey from the noisy streets of Srinagar into the mountains. In the winter time, you need a 4x4 to drive these roads. The drive to Gulmarg was beautiful, and if you stick around for this vlog, you'll even get to see me smuggle myself out of here. <laughs> Gulmarg means the meadow of flowers. Our first stop was a St. Mary's church. It has this beautiful Victorian style architecture and it's one of the most peaceful places in Gulmarg. There was only one problem though. Why did they lock us out? This is how you climb a fence in a rainbow umbrella hat. Ta-da! This is great. It's not just for decoration, it's functional because it's raining. How embarrassed are you guys right now to be seen with me? <laughs> Very embarrassed, running away from me. In the summer, the valley is filled with wildflowers of every color. From forget-me-nots and daisies to these bluebell flowers that I've seen in literally every picture of Gulmarg. Gondola cable car in the world. Yeah, yeah. Let's go there. <laughs> Hi, Alzu's work. What do you think you learned? Gulmarg is very close to the line of control, which divides the Pakistan and India controlled regions of Kashmir. Huh? The road to Pakistan over there is closed? Why? Of thorns, <laughs> at least at phase one. <laughs> oh, they're prickly. Hello. What are you? Definitely would not want to fall here, because then you end up with cactus blood. Phase two up there. Only the assholes who booked yesterday can get up there. Wow. Wow.
Next, we had lunch at the Khyber Resort, the nicest hotel in Gulmarg. Check out this view. Oh, this is nice. I like this. I could stay here. <laughs> We head back to the city. I have more leftovers than I'll, I'll be eating for days. I'm excited. <laughs> but getting back to the city turned out to be harder than I thought. <laughs> so, like, for security reasons, they don't let tourists. Okay, so what just happened was I had to get smuggled out of Gomar <laughs> because it was after 3 p.m. and tourists are not allowed to travel. And then so they had a headscarf and then I went in the van. <laughs> how, was, how was the experience in Kashmir? Amazing. Mm -hmm. I've had an amazing time. I've been here for like two weeks now. Yes. So um, I'm basically a local, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I hope you liked that video. Um, I hope you like my ridiculous hat. <laughs> Leave a comment if you did um, or didn't. Uh, <laughs> it was such a fun time. Everyone was so nice. Um, from the like women who showed me how to tie the headscarf to like smuggle me <laughs> to the, the, the police who actually like um, said that they gave the plan. <laughs> Go visit Kashmir if you get the chance. Um, I'm gonna be traveling all around India over the next few months. So definitely subscribe if you wanna see more. I'm actually in Ladakh right now and this is the view. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take this off because I don't think you can take me seriously with that on. And uh, thank you for watching if you did. Um, it takes a long time to edit things. And so I hope, I hope someone out there enjoyed this video. <laughs> Thanks guys, bye.